what's up guys so i did a video a couple of weeks ago on how to add pagination to your astro project but i ran into an issue and the issue was that the data which are the subscribers were not really updating in real time like i said in the video so let's just um let me show you what i'm talking about so if i add a mac at gmail.com see it gets added right here so if i go to the next page you see that mac doesn't appear except i save my um, vs code file and you see the same thing if i get rid of it so if i backspace and delete it's it's out of my database if i come here even though i refresh it it won't go out except i save my um, vs vs code and the issue is coming from this um, get static part so it's generating a build time not um during when you actually make a request so i just want to show you a better way to approach stuff like this and before we actually start uh, making changes to this code this is not really a bad approach so if you are building a blog um, with astro this will work fine when you try adding a blog because it's going to trigger um, a build on the um, platform you are using to um, host it and this will automatically generate a new um, part or a new build but if you just want to like see get real time data of your current subscribers and you don't access your database directly you can just um, use um, this approach you want to look into so enough of me talking let me just go right into the whole stuff so first of all we get rid of this we no longer need this so we also get rid of this as well and let me comment this out for now and this comment this out so okay all right so the first thing we want to do is to actually get the um number of page we want to show so if i go back i shouldn't see anything i don't know why this is still popping up let's see okay yeah this is fine all right, so we want to actually display the page we want to show. So I will call this um, sub subscribers page. And let's just say it to, to be five. And so this is basically um, the number of subscribers we want to show per page. So next thing is to actually get the current URL we are in so i will say url and set this to new url i can get that from by saying astro dot request dot url then the next thing we want to do is to actually get the current page number from the url query parameter so we want to get the current page number from this url so we say uh let's call this current page and set this to url dot search params dot get that page and for simplicity's sake i will i will just set this to one if um, a page is not spe uh, specified but a page will surely be specified and let's still um, wrap this inside this number method right here all right cool so the next thing we want to do is to um, actually fetch uh, the subscribers and we want to like determine how to slice them into different um, pages for easy pagination 
so i will just say subscribers and i will await db select and we want to get all everything from the subscription and by the way i'm very sure if you are watching this video you must be familiar with astro to some extent so basically i'm actually getting this subscription from um my table right here so where was i all right so the next thing is to get the total subscribers so we'll say total subscribers and i'll say subscribers the length to get that and now we want to get the total pages so we can say const um call total pages and we'll set this to total subscribers divided by the subscribers per page so for instance if we have 15 subscribers i want to divide it by the um, amount of um, subscribers to show in that page so 15 divided by 5 that should be 3 and um, before we move on we just wrap this inside a mouth to see so that um if the pages the total number of subscribers um basically if it gives us um, a decimal value we just round it off to the nearest integer so we want to actually get the start index which basically determines where we should start from in our current page um, so i'll call this start index and i'll set this to the current page minus one times subscriber per page and we just wrap this in parentheses so that the subtraction comes first before the multiplication so basically we are just subtracting one from the current page because array indices actually start at zero and we multiply the value here times the subscriber per page i'm thinking let me just rename this to subscribers per page i think this makes more sense you can leave it the way it is but i think this makes more sense so whatever value we get here we times it times the subscriber per page so for instance on the first page here will be one obviously so one minus one will be zero times five will actually give us um zero so we we'll start at zero on page two will be two minus one which is one times five will give us five then we start at index five and so on and we also want to get the end index while right, for the end index we basically set the start let me wrap this in parentheses and say start index and we'll add it to basically we're adding the subscribers per page to the start index then we're also passing the total subscribers so basically let me just wrap this on math.co math.min rather so basically we are just adding the subscriber per page to the start index to get the potential end index and we're using this math.min to ensure that we don't exceed the total number of 
subscribers and is basically important for the last page because we might have fewer than five subscribers so for example if we have 13 subscribers on page one it should be subscribers oh yeah i'm just using a demo um if i have 13 subscribers um the first page let's say page one and page two um we the index we be start index plus five and on page three the end index will be 13 instead of 15. Um, this is actually hard to explain. I'm, I'm not going to lie, but that's just the idea. And now we'll just um, get the current subscribers. So basically, we want to just create a new array to just get the subscribers for a current page i can do that by saying subscribers dot slice and set this to the start index and the end index so essentially if um the start index is zero let's just console log everything so say start index This should be end index. So the start index should be zero and the end index should be five. I just switch okay. Yeah. So zero and five. So if it's zero and five, then we are basically starting um slicing it and starting from or showing the first five subscribers. Alright, so I think that's all for the main logic. We just need to display the actual data. So we we'll just uh, let me leave this and let's use some code here. We'll get this to be current subscribers. Dot map. You know what? I will just use this because it should be similar. So we say current subscribers. So subscribe. Then we change this to current. Current subscribers the length show subscribers all right I think that's for it so let's save and let's check now okay now I've seen the first five but we're not seeing the buttons so for the buttons what we just have to do yeah I knew I was missing something for the buttons we um just say const brief page i think it's similar to what we have here okay uh okay let's leave it as brief page then i'll say correct if the current page is greater than one then basically um show the next page else just default or no so if the current page is greater than one um basically subtract one and go back to the previous page so for the next one for the next page kind of similar so we say if the current page is less than the total pages so basically if they go on one so if one is less than if one is less than the total pages go to the next page i'm not going to lie all this stuff are quite um think how to explain like you know it but to explain it is just somehow all right so we just have to bring this back and we pass in the previous page this should be previous page this should be next page and this should be next page now i have to go to the pagination button and 
we won't be doing much the first thing to do is to bring in the props i think this works so we'll set this to previous page should be previous page and just change this to previous page cool what is this blocks cannot replay blocks code variable web page okay is it because i'm it should be next next page all right i don't know why there's a two href here but i'll get rid of this one so what we want to do is to change this href and bring in uh, back ticks and we'll use a question mark and we'll say page and we'll set this to the previous page so basically um we're actually creating a url parameter for the page number in order to allow us navigate to the next or previous page based on um this right here so i'll show you how it works in a bit then for this one we just say next page let me copy this and paste it here and this should be next page and we'll save and let's head back now just watch if i click on next right now you see the question mark and the next page we defined right here so page two but seems we're getting a typescript error where is that coming from thinking is from the mm, thinking is from this page button so what i will do uh, is that i'll leave this but we just um define the structure right here and say page props and set the previous page so uh, let's say number then i will set the next page so number as well so let's see this time okay I just set this to no. Set this to no as well. That's taking rid of the errors. Okay, the error is gone. So let's see. Yeah, it works now. So if we go back, you see this question mark change to page one. Page two. And now we have nine right here. The cool thing now is that if I come back to this previous page and i just add another one i say i say mary at gmail.com click on get notified now mary gets added right here so if i click on next mary should automatically come and if i also delete it from here and i refresh the page it should go as well if i go back everything should work all right guys so that's the end of the video you can leave any questions in the comments and do it to like and share the video see you next time